What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here, welcoming you to our brand new Pokemon Platinum Shady Lock. Now, if you wonder why I'm beat red and smiling just a little wide, it's because I done goofed, and some of you guys saw that I uploaded an episode of Pokemon Platinum Shady Lock, or episode one, but I was playing Pokemon Diamond somehow. No idea how that happened. This whole intro is on the bottom screen, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to press this button, because here we go. Pokemon Platinum. How did I not realize that? I don't know. I was just so excited to start a new Shady Lock that who cares what game is on? Who cares if you have the graphics made for a specific game? Who cares if you want to see certain events that only happen in the third part or the trio of the games? Regardless, we're here. It's only a couple hours after that episode had its little faux pawn. If you guys are excited for the start of our brand new Shady Lock, please show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. Of course, our common question of the day is going to be who should be our starter because you guys are going to be choosing our starter. Now, if you don't know what a Shady Lock is because you weren't watching Theta or you've never seen one on the channel before, let me give you a quick rundown. If you, know what a, if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, we're going to start there, though. What a Nuzlocke is, is it's a hard version of Pokemon. There are three main rules for Nuzlocke. The first rule being the first Pokemon you encounter in a route is the only Pokemon you can capture in that route. If it runs away, uh, if you miss if you miss it, if you knock it out with a crit, whatever, that means you can catch no other Pokemon in that route. The only exception to this rule is Species, Claws, and Dupe. So if you already have a Pokemon, if you already have a Bulbasaur, you, you can choose not to catch an Ivysaur. If you already have an Ivysaur, you can choose not to catch an Ivysaur, etc. The second important rule of a Nuzlocke is that you nickname each Pokemon. Give it a name so that your bonds with that Pokemon feel stronger because the third rule is where you need that second rule. When a Pokemon faints, it is lost forever and you must release it or you must box it forever in the dead box or the discard or the rip zone box like we normally do here on the Shady Penguin channel. So that's why you nickname because there's going to be a point where you can lose Pokemon. If you guys didn't watch our last LP, well, then you don't realize that we lose Pokemon here. Of course, the Shady Lock is a variant on the Nuzlocke, something that I invented a few years back. Essentially, it takes a lot of the pressure and places it on the PP. If, if just, just listen to me, listen to me. So in a Shady Lock, you can see down beneath me, there are uh, Shady Tokens. Now, what are those tokens used for? We'll get to that in a second. Right now, we have zero. What these tokens are used for is you cannot use a Pokemon Center unless you pay Nurse Joy. She is a straight up gold digger, and she will not be healing your Pokemon for anything less than one Shady Token. We start out with zero. Nope, we start out with one. One, two, three shady tokens. There we go, we have three. The way you earn more shady tokens though, because that would only give us three Pokemon Center usages, which would be kind of wild. Uh, the way you earn more shady tokens is for every gym you defeat, you go ahead and earn yourself one token. So there's a total of 11 tokens in this playthrough, 11 Pokemon Center playthrough, uh, 11 Pokemon Center usages in this playthrough. Now there's a couple more rules to a shady lock. For the nicknaming portion of the of the Pokemon. I have to nickname Pokemon after you guys, the shady people. And where do I get your names from? The comment section down below. That's why we have the comment question of the day all the way down on the bottom of this beautiful layout done by Tito's, of course. His Twitter link is in the description. Go show him some shady love. But yes, answer the comment question of the day every single day and you'll have a chance to have your name featured as one of our Shady Lock Party members. The only other rule that we have is that I enforce it upon myself. I can only use TM once. Now, this is a randomizer. Uh, Shady Lock, if you can randomize, it has to be completely randomized. So trainers, wild Pokemon, static encounters, um, gym leaders, anything. Everything is randomized. TMs, field items, all of that is randomized. So we could find some really good stuff. We could find some really bad stuff. Either way, that's why I'm limiting myself to one usage of each TM. Because if I find a really, really busted TM and I just give it to all my Pokemon, I think we had a Shady Lock one time that was just a little bit too easy because of that. So I don't want that to happen again. I'd rather have a difficult lock than an easy lock. I'm not trying to walk through Lilies. If I wanted to walk through Lilies, I'd just play a regular old playthrough, which I don't want right now. I want Hellfire and Brimstone, which is what we got in Theta. So, I really want to win this, though, so I'm going to be trying my hardest. The last rule that I can think of is that, you know, sometimes in the Pokemon world, we find those random beds, or your mom, or etc., some random girl that wants to heal your Pokemon for you. Those usages do not require tokens. The only Nurse Joy is the Gold Digger. She's the one that wants to get paid. Everyone else in the world, you can use them, but you can only use them once per run-through. So, as soon as mom heals my Pokemon, by my choice, that's it. Done. I can't use her again for the rest of the game. I can save her all the way until it's clutch moment, which I like to do, but... That's pretty much all the rules. So we're gonna go ahead, and since I've been waiting to upload this, and you've been waiting to watch this, our starters are different. If you saw the last episode that was up an hour ago that was actually Diamond, I, as far as I know, our starters are different. I re-randomized this new game, Pokemon Platinum, and we're gonna see where it takes us. <clears throat> Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. 
Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Here we go. I have a deja vu for me. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. I don't need any information. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, have a Pokeball. Touch the button in the middle of the ball, if you'd please. All right, I'll go ahead and touch that button right there. Bam, we got a Battle Bee. I don't think that's randomized. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? <laughs> I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? I am a boy. I can't believe I didn't realize I wasn't playing Platinum at this point. I must have been on super autopilot. I was thinking about chicken. If you guys were in the Kingdom Hearts stream today, you know that I was talking so much about this chicken that I was marinating. I was thinking about it. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but now I'm not thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about the fact that my name does not start with a T. It in fact starts with an S because my name is Sh 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 Shady. There we go. Got it. Nailed it. Okay. Your name is Shady. Yes, it is. That's what I that's why I said. Okay, so you're Shady. A fine name that is. That's that's why I chose it for the internet. My name is Shady. I wasn't given that at birth. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Now, originally, what might his name be? I had uh, I did a little bit of thinking, but I did my thinking in the last recording, so we're going to go ahead and name you Nips. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what our old starters were. Uh, when we recorded the accidentally recorded diamond because I don't want you to be disappointed But I'm really excited to see what our starters are. It's kind of exciting for me because now I get like Double hype of starters the last ones. There was one really good one that I really wanted to use but oh well Nips is it that's your friend's name. Yes. Yes, it is uh, All right shady the time has come your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold on your journey You will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things Perhaps even something about yourself now go on leap into the world of Pokemon. I'm leaping right now I'm leaping as I take a sip of water on episode one Mmm Cucumbers lemons and mints and ginger. Oh my <clears throat> Oh, this is different than diamond Pokemon, by our side, always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the last comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. Oh, he was in Kanto, so they didn't say that in Diamond. That concludes our special program. Let's Ask Professor Rowan, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same place. All right, we have to change this tech speed. Okay. Ah, I took one step. There you are. This nips, so we're gonna talk really fast. Hey, Shady, did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he has lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, 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 hey, is this a new PC? Oh, wow, uh, where was I? Um, oh gosh, he's such a, s yo, this character is such a scatterbrain. Barry is his name, I think? Oh, right, right. We're going to see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Shady, if you're late, I'm finding you $10 million. So, very different than Diamond and Pearl. Normally, he doesn't barge into your house like that. He's a little bit more respectful, and he waits for you to find him. That needs to go fast. This needs to go to start, and our frame needs to be, I had chosen, oh, they don't have, they don't have the one I chose? They really don't. It was like this cool gray, Oh man. All right, now I gotta choose a different one. That one's pretty, that one almost matches the layout. This one almost matches, ah, the boxes don't match the layout. <laughs> Can we be blank? Look, that's a super blank and, Really bland. I'm not gonna go with that. I mean, this technically matches the layout pretty well. I guess we're gonna go with that. Yes, we will go with that. Now I know that there is no PC in the, there's no potion in the PC. It's just a PC that explains like nothing to you. Just straight up dip. Oh, mother's here. Shady, Nips already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. See, in Diamond, she says that he looks like he's having an emergency. And I made fun of her for like, being all cheery while there was an emergency and now no, it's all it's all gone. Oh, yes Don't go into the tall grass Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't so well take care sweetie Well, give me one mom. What the heck? What kind of what kind of self-respecting mother lets your child go out without a Pokemon? All right, so am I supposed to meet I had to meet Nips at his house before but now up oh, it seems like I still do. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine.
<clears throat> oh, hi, Shady. Dips was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? Well, I'm not I'm not the type to just barge into someone's house. I know Nips is. Oh. Speaking of Nips. What was that about? Oh, hey, Shady. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too and quickly. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. Well, we got to chase him upstairs now. Looks like we have to barge into his house no matter how badly I don't want to. What does your mom have to say? Oh, hi, Shady. Are you looking for Nips? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Um, clearly not you. How many men did you... Okay, nope, we're not going there. I better take my bag and my journal, too, and I'm like, guys, where's my puppy? Where's my... Oh, hey, Shady! I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Thanks, Nips. Thanks, Nips. Thanks, Nips. Always wanting to take my money. <laughs> oh, luckily, he doesn't watch my videos. That's great. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, round 201. Let's go. Oh, too slow. All right, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. Wait, are we really? What? Don't go on the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one. I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gym Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Here we go, ready? Here we go, on your marks. See, this did not happen at all. Hold it! This did not happen even a little bit. Ugh. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? Hey, Shady. This old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? It's kind of crazy. So, essentially, if you're born in Sand Gem Town, or whatever town this is, you're trapped there until you get a Pokemon, until you're of age to obtain a Pokemon. You literally can, you know nothing outside of your town because there's grass over here and then grass at the lake. I guess you have the little area to the left. I guess? That's insane. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What's he doing here? Uh, oh, they tried to go into tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Mm, what to do, what to do. Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Oh, is it right for me to put them on that path? Oh, 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 oh you two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? I've never had an encounter with one. How am I supposed to? Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again, you too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Well, that's, you can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. We'll both say, we'll both answer a hundred times we love Pokemon. Right, Shady? Yes. Um, a pair of reckless kids who foolishly tried to enter the tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh, 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 well then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Nips always tries to get me to do bad things all the time and I'm tired of it. Now it's going to cost me Pokemon. He is making a very self-righteous, uh, a very righteous sacrifice though, sacrificing himself. How big of you? Very well then. I wouldn't trust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through the, that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm, where were, now where, um, where's my daughter? Oh, Mary, yes. <clears throat> Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Oh, is something wrong here? Oh. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is, good on, nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm, we exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Jay Shady, you can choose first. I want to choose the one that's better than yours. Here we go. Well, I'm going to save right here so that I can load the game up for the next episode without having to do any shenanigans. But of course, don't forget to answer the comment question today. Let me know who you want to choose our starter. And, and even more importantly than that, the straw poll in the description is going to be what ultimately decides what starter we get. So make sure you click that link and vote. It's completely free. You don't need to sign up for an account or anything. There's nothing crazy going on. It's just straw me slash blah, blah, blah. Click it, vote, done. That's it. It's that easy. Now, let's see what our starters are. I'm kind of pumped because, oh man, I am kind of pumped. I am kind of pumped. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now choose. All right, here we go. The Seed Pokemon Sunkern. All right. I asked for Hellfire and Brimstone. The Ant Pit Pokemon, Trapinch, all right, all right. 
All right, getting a little getting a little warmer here. And then our final Pokemon, the Firefly Pokemon Volbeat. So those are our three starter choices: Volbeat, Trapinch, and Sunkern. You guys get to vote and choose my freaking destiny. What we're gonna start out with now, please, please remember that a Nuzlocke doesn't start until I get Pokeball. So if I do get stuck with something, that uh, we're just gonna rock out with it. But thank you guys so much for making it this far. Uh, we will continue this series on Sunday and then our upload schedule for this series is going to be every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to show some Shady Love. Let's try to crush 5,000 likes for the brand new Shady Lock that's coming your way. With that though, I'm gonna get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it shady.